One morning, Mina and Raju were leaving for school. They waved goodbye to their mother and father who were going away for a few days. Granny was staying at home to look after the children. On the way to school, Meena and Raju saw their friend Babul. Why aren't you coming to school? Meena asked. My mother is sick and I must stay at home to help, Babul said sadly. Meena and Raju were very worried about their friend. When they met the health worker, Raju asked, Babul's father got sick and died. Now his mother is sick. Is she going to die too? And then who will look after Babul and his sister? The health worker said, I hope Babul's mother can live long enough to see her children grow up. I am glad that you were thinking about Babul. He needs good friends to help him now. That afternoon, Meena and Raju wanted to visit Bablu's house, but Granny was worried. She had learned that Bablu's father had died of a disease called HIV or AIDS. Granny said, Bablu's mother has the same disease. I'm afraid that you might catch it. Meena told Granny what she had learned in school about HIV and AIDS. Teacher says that you cannot catch it by being someone's friend by touching them or playing with them. But Granny said, I'm still very afraid. I don't want you to go. Just then, the children heard a sound near the house. It was Babul. He had heard everything. Mina called out to him, but Babul ran away crying. Mina was very upset. Later, Meena climbed up a tree near Babul's house. She was very concerned about Babul, but she knew that she could not visit. Then the health worker came to see Babul's mother. Meena tried to climb down and leave, but her hair was caught. So she overheard the two women talking. Babul's mother said, I am trying to keep healthy, but I am so worried about who will look after my children if I am not here. The health worker replied, I was an orphan, but my relatives helped me to finish my education. Babul's mother shook her head sadly. I want my children to stay in school, but my own parents are dead and my husband's relatives are scared of the disease. They stay away from us. The health worker replied kindly, I will try to find some help. The health worker advised Babul's mother, For now, you must look after your health. What fruit and vegetables are you eating? Babul's mother shied. There is nobody to look after the garden, she said. Meena ran back to her own garden and picked some vegetables. She felt happier. Now she could do something to help Babu's family. She asked Mitu, her parrot, to carry the vegetables to Babu's house. When no one was looking, Mitu flew over and quickly dropped the vegetables on the step. That evening, Meena and Raju were talking with Granny. Meena said, Granny, I remember how Babu's mother came to see you every day when you were sick last year. Granny became very thoughtful. She told the children, neighbors should help each other, but I am still scared about this disease. I want to talk to the health worker to find out more about it. Next day, Raju was out playing. He saw one of Babul's ducklings wandering by itself lost. He picked it up to return it to its mother. 
Babu saw Raju coming and was upset and angry. He shouted, Stay away from here. You know what your grandmother said? Feeling sad and confused, Raju put the duckling down and walked back home. Meena saw what had happened. She also felt sad. She secretly sent Mitu to Babu's house again, this time with a gift of eggs. On the weekend, Meena and Raju met the health worker. Be careful near the river. It's very high today, the health worker warned the children. But Raju was very curious. He sneaked off to the river where no one was looking to see how high it really was. The health worker went home with Meena to see Granny. Granny said, We would like to help Babu's family, but I am scared we could catch AIDS too. The health worker replied, I am glad you have asked. It's good to understand clearly about HIV AIDS. The health worker showed Granny and Meena a book, which explained all about HIV and AIDS. She explained, it is safe to be friends and care for people with HIV and AIDS. Granny and Meena looked carefully at the pictures and the health worker answered all their questions clearly. Meena said, does this mean we can go and see Babu's family? Granny smiled and said, yes, my dear, we will all go. Meanwhile, Mitu had flown off looking for Raju. He spotted Raju stretching across the branch over the river. He was playing with his toy duck. Babu also saw Raju. Careful, Raju, don't fall in the river, he shouted. But it was too late. The branch broke and Raju fell in. Babu ran to save Raju. It was very difficult. The water was flowing fast and Babu was not strong enough to pull Raju out. Mitu flew off to get help. Help! Raju, help! Mitu called when he reached home. Meena, Granny and the health worker ran after Mitu to the river. Meena, Granny and health worker arrived just in time. Babul could not hold on to Raju for much longer. Together, they all managed to pull Raju out of the river. With tears in her eyes, Granny put one arm around Raju and the other around Babul. She was so thankful to Babul for saving Raju. Meena smiled with joy. Just then, Mitu flew back with Raju's toy duck. He had rescued it from the river. Oh, thank you, Mitu, and thank you, Babul, said Raju, smiling. Come, Babul, said Granny. Let's go to your house. I want to tell your mother what a brave boy she has. They all went together to Babu's house. Since that day, Meena's family often visits Babu's house to talk with the family and to help. They are good friends and neighbors. Granny has also encouraged other neighbors to come and help. Babu's mother is so pleased to have this support. She feels stronger and happier. In the evenings, Babu's mother tells her children stories about their family. Babu likes to write these down so that he and his sister will always remember them. Sometimes Meena helps him. Babu's mother still worries about the future. Granny tells her, I will speak with your relatives. I am sure they will be willing to help once they understand better about HIV AIDS. And don't worry, we will always make sure that your children are okay. 
Babul and his sister feel happier now too. They go to school every day with their friends Meena and Raju. All the children play happily together. Mm-hmm.